Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you guys have never been here before, my name is China, and if you have, once again, welcome, welcome. So guys, let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. So I have been away for a while now. It's It's been a while. I can't even put a number on it, but I know it's been a minute. And guys, I just have to be transparent in saying that I have been going through a lot. There's been a lot of transitions, a lot of shifts um, in this past year, um, and let's just say that God has been taking me through a series of ups and downs and trials and everything, but God is good, and I'm just so happy to be here. I'm back. Um, I want to be there uh, for you guys as consistently as possible, consistent as consistent as I possibly can. So guys, just thank you for all the people who have stuck around, who have continued to share my videos, who have continued to like, who have um, checked up on me. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So guys, I felt like a, one of the a perfect way to come back to my channel, please forgive me because it's been a while y'all, okay? It's been a minute. So if I am stumbling and tripping and all that kind of stuff, please just show me grace, you know? But I wanted to talk about some of these fragrances that are super super hyped, super hyped. They've been hyped within like the last year or so. And I picked up a few while I was away. I still been doing a little bit of perfume shopping, just a little bit, just a little bit. So we wanna start off, I'm gonna start off with a super hyped fragrance. This one is actually one that I had smelled a few years back. Um, and a lot of people talk about it. It's in Sephora, uh, super popular fragrance. And guys, that is, this is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. So Valentino, Donna, born in Roma. And this is the original version. So guys, so I just picked this up and this one is a fruity floral, okay? This one is a fruity floral. Guys, it's very mouthwatering to me. Like this one, Every time I smelled it, I don't know. It, I just, I felt like it was very, it's very mass appealing. And so I think that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to get it, to be honest but it's so good. Like this one I believe has a tea note in it, but it has like black currant, very fruity. It's long lasting. That's another thing I really like about this as well. But if you're a fruity floral lover, this one, yes. A mass appealing scent. If you know anybody that likes a fruity floral, this they would love. I just can't see anyone not liking this scent. And it does very well in the in the projection and in the long lasting category. I wore this to uh, church last Sunday for Easter and it was, it's, it's very beautiful. Lasted all day long. Guys, this one is super, super pretty. I don't know. I, um, like I said, I didn't want to pick it up because I was being a little bit bougie. Uh, and I was like, but everybody has that scent, but it's for good reason, for good reason. This one is very, very, very beautiful. So if you have not tried Valentino Born in Roma, I suggest pick it up, kind of wear it. It kind of reminds me and puts me in the same uh, mindset of like Prada Paradox or Peridot, uh, the original version, not because it's the same scent. I do think that this one is a little bit more interesting because of that T note maybe. I love Prada Paradox as well, but this one just has, I don't know, it's mouth watering to me. It, it, it kind of, it's a, it's a mass appealing scent, but it has a little bit of something different in it and it wears very well. So definitely this one I do feel like is worth the hype. I do think it's a little bit overpriced. I think I paid 120 or something for this bottle, which it's, I think this is a 50 mil. I do think it's a little bit overpriced. I think I, I could have gotten it cheaper, but I just picked it up in Sephora. Uh, but yes, this one definitely worth the hype. I love it. Definitely try it out. Okay guys, so this next fragrance. So this one is a newer fragrance. Uh, it is from one of my favorite niche brand fragrance houses. And I had heard a lot of rave about this fragrance. Um, I'm a little bit late to the party because I've been trying to be like budget friendly. I know it's very easy for us to rack up on fragrances and rack up on things when you're talking about it. But also y'all like, I have a budget. I have to maintain and be 
good about what I am buying. So that's what I've been on lately as well. Like make sure I, I get things to review, but trying samples, trying these other things. But guys, anyways, so this one is Altair by Parfums de Marly. So guys, I'm a little bit late to the party because this was, I think it came out last year, like fall winter time and it is more of a fall winter fragrance but i smelled this um in the fragrance shop that i used to work at here in atlanta in indie house had this and guys is it worth is it worth it is it worth the hype like is it is it worth the hype y'all yeah, um, as soon as I smelled this in there, it was between two fragrances that I was gonna get, and guys, I ended up walking out with both because I could not choose. This is a typical fragrance for me. It's sweet, it's sweet, it has like notes of cinnamon in there. It has, I believe it has like a, is it, is it a leather note or is that the other one? No, I don't think, I don't think it has a leather note, but I know it has some fruity notes. There's something like fruity in the top, but also sweet. It's unisex, but I will say that this one does feel a little a little slightly bit more feminine leaning to me even though it is in their uh, you know male collection bottle this one just kind of feels a little bit more feminine because of the sweetness behind it now don't get me wrong I love when my husband wears this and it's still a little bit cold out here in springtime so you know I still wear this I actually wore it the other day but it is a beast mode fragrance I'll say beast mode in the in the way of like no, it's beast mode. It's beast mode. Like this one definitely lasts all day for me. And one of the things I love about this one is that it is, it feels like it's the same all the way through. Like it, to me on my skin, this one doesn't really change much, which I enjoy because I like the way it smells coming out of the bottle. It has the vanilla in it, cinnamon, vanilla. It is like a fall, winter, slightly spring fragrance like I do think that you can get away with this you know all year round but it'll be a little bit heavy for the summer of course but if it's cool if it's cool weather going I think that you could still rock this this one is beautiful projection is amazing long lasting power is amazing um I heard about this fragrance a lot but I'm glad I picked it up and when I smelled it it was an instant it was an automatic yes the price is hefty of course apart from Tamarly it's gonna be a hefty price but it's worth it to me I think I can get a lot of wears out of this and um yes definitely definitely worth the hype so if you guys have not tried Altair I definitely Definitely recommend that if you like it's not even like a gourmand because it doesn't to me it doesn't smell like foodie but you get richness you get vanilla you get cinnamon like you get these notes that are very comforting but not in really like a foodie way to me it doesn't smell very foodie it smells just very like kind even a little bit incensey like very very like just comforting very comforting so guys this is Altair by Parfums de Marly okay guys and then the last fragrance I have this was another one that I picked up in the shop I could not choose between the two but I had heard so many people raving about this fragrance this one is newer as well I think within the last year it became super popular and this fragrance house is known for being such having such beast mode fragrances y'all I smelled this in the store because I had to I heard too much about it and let me just tell you what it is guys this one is hibiscus mahajad by Mason Crivelli I believe is the name and I have a story behind this fragrance and I picked this up because of the hype I picked this up, I smelled it, and I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was beautiful, but I also felt like, okay, I have to experience this because this isn't a fragrance I would normally wear because I just am drawn to a bit more vanilla type stuff. But when I smelled this, I was like, this would be perfect for spring. Like this would be, this is the type of fruitiness uh, that I really want to get into, but it's just harder for me because I like certain type of fragrances, but I've got to stretch and, you know, do all that kind of stuff. Y'all, I don't even know if I need to spray this in this room. 
because I already have it on my hand. I sprayed it on my hand, but let's spray it because what I get automatically out, you get the, ooh, automatically out the bottle burst of fruity, fruitiness. Now this says that it has hibiscus in the top. I thought hibiscus was a fruit. It's actually a plant, I believe, or a flower or something. But y'all, this is a burst of fruitiness. I don't remember what is in the top. Let me see. Let me get, where's my phone? Okay, so yes. So in the top, there's hibiscus, there's rose, vanilla, cassis. Um, there's peppermint in here as well. Yeah, there's peppermint because I can kind of, I can kind of smell that peppermint note. It's, it's something that also brightens up the fragrance. But y'all, let me tell you something about this. If you don't like a beast mode fragrance, this is not for you. This, I feel like, is one of the strongest fragrances I have in my collection. It is very strong. Very insanely strong. I messed around. I did something very stupid one day. I was trying the fragrance and I was like, oh, I'm like, let me wear it to work. Let me wear it to work. I work in an office and I just did something stupid, y'all. I, I took it. I was so excited about having it. I thought it smelled so good. And listen, I ended up spraying this one time. I sprayed this at my desk. Why? I do not know. It flooded the room. Like, it flooded the room. This is not a workspace safe, maybe one spray, but even the one spray that I have on my hand, it smells like I sprayed it all over my body. It is very beast mode. If you like that type of scent, you'll love this, but it's very, it's very fruity in an adult way, in a very sophisticated way. And there's something about this that is very gourmand to me. Um, I didn't know what it was. There is vanilla in here. And I was thinking like, maybe it's the vanilla that's making this, it's kind of rounded it, rounding it out and making it kind of having this foodie element to it. It just smells like a fruity, slightly minty, a bit gourmandy to me, like a bit tasty to me. I don't, I don't know, but I think it may be the vanilla because um, I don't think, oh, and there's cinnamon in here as well. So that's probably, that's probably what it is too. There is, there is cinnamon in this, in this fragrance. So I think the vanilla and cinnamon maybe round it out and make it like a little bit foody, but it's guys, it's strong. It is strong. This is gonna last you forever. I, it's very strong. And personally, I will say, let me go ahead and put this out this out there now. I will say that I have been, I've been kind of like liking a little bit of fragrances that aren't like this, this beast mode. Ones that are a bit more moderate to closer to the skin, to moderate, because this is just harder to wear. Like you, have to be going out, out, like be outside, be outside or be somewhere where this type of thing is expected. I know a lot of people either love this fragrance or hate it. I really do like this fragrance. I really do like it. It's worth the money because of the projection and the longevity and all of those things. However, it, it's real strong <laughs> and I don't know how much wear I'm going to get out of it. I've only worn it that one time and because it just flooded the room so much and I sprayed it in the wrong way, I think that's why it put a, a taste in my mouth that was a little bit like, oh, like this is kind of hard to wear. I am gonna wear it again. Maybe I'll wear it today out somewhere, but y'all, is it worth it? Yeah, I think it's worth it. If you're looking for a beast mode, longevity, fruity, minty, gourmandy type of feel, fresher fragrance. Um, I wouldn't even say fresh, I would say like kind of densely fresh, but amazing fragrance. It's very original, very unique. I've never smelled anything like it. So it's worth it. Just know what you're getting yourself into. Okay guys, so that is gonna be the end of today's video. Thank you guys so, so, so much once again for watching. Thank you guys for so sticking in there with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I could not thank you enough for just holding me down while I have been away. If you have any recommendations on future videos, make sure to leave them down below and I will see you next time. Bye.